Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Ah, rock me gently, sailor. Easy. Easy. Ah... You're getting the knack, kid. What is it about you, Slate? You can get girls to push your hammock. I got rosy cheeks. What are you sore about? We flipped for it, didn't we? I won. You lost. That's life in Havana. Keep pushing. I had to have a bright idea. Why don't we put up a hammock on the patio, I said. That way the hotel guests can enjoy their siestas in comfort, I said. I keep talking to myself like that, and what do I get? 175 hey, pounds of... Mr. Shannon... That's him. One on his back. Hey, you won't remember me, Mr. Shannon. I wouldn't expect you to. It's been many years. I... Sure. Sure I remember. Brewer. John Brewer, isn't it? How are you, Mr. Brewer? Thank you. you you're remembering me so quickly. That, that'll that make it easier. So much easier. I used to charter my boat for fishing trips. We had good days together. I don't forget days like we had... I remember once we... Is it okay if I stop rocking you, baby boy, while you reminisce over fish? Yeah. Yeah, you can stop, sailor. I've had it. Hey, you want to charter my boat again, Mr. Brewer? Yes, but not for that. I haven't the money for that anymore. Things are different. It's on your mind. My son, he'll be at the Puente docks tonight. About one, I think. They, they said about one. I want you to pick him up, bring him to me. Sure, we can do that, can't we, sailor? Perhaps you won't be so eager when you know my son has escaped from prison, from Guantanamo prison. My son was in prison for murdering a man, you know. Oh. Huh. Well, I'll be frank with you, Mr. Brewer. The boat's not for hire to escape murderers. It's a quirk I have. But he'll kill. Paul will kill again. That, that's why he's escaped, to kill the man who double-crossed him. All, all I ask is you bring him to me first so I can prevent him not killing so I can turn him into the police, the barrio where I live now, the streets, the alleys, the whispers scream how Paul has escaped, how he's coming to... Look, Mr. Shannon, I, I beg I'll... Don't let him do that, Slate. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brewer. For the good days we had together. Would you give him back to the police, huh? I, I swear it, I swear it. Thank you, thank you. Now, sailor, get him off me. Will you open up? No way. Now, can't you... Ah, oh, Bart, this is the first time you've come around to see me in the middle of the afternoon. Come on in. Why didn't you just say it was Bart instead of beating on the door? What's the matter, honey? He'll kill me. Sit down, Bart. No, right here. Yeah. Better? Talk now, or talk later? I said he'd kill me. What are you trying to say, honey? Oh, look at you. Paul Brewer's out. What? Paul Brewer broke jail. No use running, honey. Paul will get you. Hey, look. I got an idea, Millie. I figured you would. You don't have the nerve to walk up to Paul with a gun, do you? Just an idea, huh? I only ask, because look what's happening to your last idea, Brian. So Paul gets blamed for the murder I did. Got convicted for it. Maybe you'd have waltzed down a courtroom island and said, Wait a minute, Judge, you're doing wrong. Maybe you'd have done that, huh? Yeah, not me, not Bart Trainer. Not Millie either. 
What are you going to do? All right, listen. Paul's old man went to see Slate Shannon today. I got the word. Well, guy like Shannon, you know what's going to happen. You figure it. You think Shannon will get to Paul? Oh, uh, sure he will. Look, baby, I got an idea. You get Shannon to bring Paul to me. Offer Shannon anything. If I knew someone was going to bring him to me, well, <laughs> I'd be ready for him. After which you'd give it to Paul in the back, huh? And give dead Paul to the cops. You know why I love you, Bart? Because you got character. You gonna help me? Relax, honey. Just relax. There's a saying, Slate. Goes like this. Mother used to tell it to me. Honey, Mother said, stick your neck out and you'll get a fat rope around it, honey. She always called me honey. Hey, you want to give it up, sailor? Want to go back home? What's home? Moonlit patio? You whispering things in my ear? Me ironing you a clean shirt for tomorrow? <laughs> Why do dull things like that when for the same price we can get killed? What's with us getting killed? All we have to do is pick up our boat, collect an escaped murderer, leave him on his daddy's doorstep. Shannon, over here. Come to me, Shannon. Huh? I hear a call, sailor. You run on along to the boat. Uh-uh. I got a feeling you'll need a bodyguard. Come on, Shannon boy. Anything you say. You're calling for help. That's why you want me, isn't it, lady? You want help? Talk to Shannon, the girls told me. You mean all the other girls in the shop, huh, honey? But I got there first. As you see, it's uh, me that bakes his apple pies now. You're lucky. You're lucky you got someone to do things for, a girlie. Me? Millie? Well, I got his word my man broke out tonight. And I haven't done nothing for him in five years. That could break a girl in two. That'll be Paul Brewer, huh? Now you can tell me, Millie. Paul. My Paul. The word among friends is that you're bringing my Paul home to his papa. To him, not to me. You tell him I'm waiting. Against a pile. He'll drag you to me. Honestly, Will. After that, he can go do what he has to do. You'll wait here, huh? Just so long. Then I stick the cops on you, Shannon. The girls tell me it's 20 years for aiding and abetting an escaped convict. You sure know a lot of smart girls, Millie. Now, you just stand here waiting just the way you are, against the piling. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Ain't it a picture to break your heart, sailor? I wipe a tear. Paul the knee. Or you build roads for the county. You reached us, Millie. We'll mention the name to Paul. And don't you leave this place, you hear? Let's go, sailor. <laughs> Higher up, sailor. Right. Secure, Skipper, honey. What do we do now? We wait. What do you feel like doing? Well, pretty big moon tonight. You had a jackknife, we could play mumbledy peg by moonlight. That's something to do. As a matter of fact, we could. Paul. Now wait here, sailor. Paul, Paul Brewer. Hey, wait a minute. Get away from here. If it's got to be, it's got to be. Cut it out. Now, don't be a bird brain, Paul. You don't know what you're doing. You Paul Brewer? Uh, cut it out. Got it. Are you Paul Brewer? Who told you to look for him? His father. Are you Paul? Shouldn't have told you to come here. I asked you a question, kid. Yes. Yes, I'm Paul Brewer. Come on. Where? To your father. He wants to talk to you. Come on. Why'd you break out, kid? Cops probably got orders to shoot on sight. All right, let him. Better boy, huh? Hey, sailor. Is that him? Yeah. Take the bold venture back. I'm taking a wandering boy home. Can 
Senorita Duval. Please to lift your frame from the hammock, Senorita. What's the matter, officer? Was I going too fast? Lift it, Senorita. In the name of the law. Oh, fine. I finally get Slate out of it, now you want it. What is it with you men, LaSalle? You've got dark spots about girls and hammocks? Personally, and with me, it is a sight I would miss my bus for. However, I only wish you to tell me where is Slate Shannon, so I can embrace his wrist with handcuffs. Oh, must be a lot of fellows you can do that to, LaSalle, Why elect Slate? Besides, he's not very attractive with handcuffs. Thwarts his conversation. We of the police would find him very attractive, so. You will tell him that, senorita, when he comes back to you for a hideout. Oh, why would he do that? Slate's been a good boy. Hasn't tripped an old lady in days. But he has aided a notorious criminal to escape. Paul Brewer. Of this, a stool pigeon flapped her wings on the phone. Bring him to me, senorita. Or perhaps we bring him to you. So you can buy for him a funeral corsage. Like that, huh? Just so, senorita. Tell him. Tell him he is wanted by the police. Badly. Adios. Still the same crummy place. And I spent a young lifetime promising myself to get my father out of four flights up in a barrio. I got a philosophy that goes with that. Stay out of jail. It's easier to make money that way. That way you don't have to live forever in a slum. Oh, good old you. You ever been in jail? You ever known a drifter who wasn't? Hello, Mr. Brewer. Here's the boy. What? <laughs> hey, what is this? Yes, what? Aren't you Paul? I said a fib. Mr. Shannon. I'm sorry. I really am. Now, look. Look, Mr. Brewer, you'd better get inside. Something's happened here. I want to find out what. Go ahead. I'll talk to you later. What about it, Buster? Me? You. Paul broke jail today. My friend Paul did that. I was supposed to pick him up, and you came instead. I don't know who you are, mister. I thought you were a cop, but now I know you're on the level when you brought me here. Where's Paul? Well, he won't find me waiting for him, so he probably went to a place. What place? Look, I can't monkey with you no more. Out of the way. You're a real brave kid. Yeah, that's me. That's really me. How about that guy thinking I was Paul? Paul? Huh? Your name must be Paul. Don't move. I've got a gun pointed at you. Oh, hey, now, wait a minute. You're tired of Shannon's company, Paul? That's why you pushed him down the stairs? Oh, look here. I blew him a kiss when I passed him, but he didn't pay any attention. Now, you... You're crazy. Oh! So I just passed him and went along with my business. Goodbye, Paul. Take a Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Oh, Havana's a place of possibilities. They give you the city, don't bother with the keys. Go ask any native, they'll recommend Shannon's place, your dollar's friend. The current chatter in Shannon's lobby, where the guests all gather to make hobnobby, concerns a boy who fled from jail, but who can blame him? He had no bail. I blame him, King. Paul Brewer killed a man. It says, Lady Sailor. What are you talking about? It says Paul Brewer killed a man. Well, didn't he? It says. Come off it, King. What are you trying to tell me about Paul Brewer? That it is whispered in the barrio that he did not kill the man for whom he went to prison. And what? 
And nothing, Miss Taylor, except that if this is true, whatever is happening to Mr. Slade right now... Who said anything was happening to him? Why are you looking at your watch every minute, on the minute? In case the main spring falls out, I want to know when it happens. I've got a year's guarantee on this watch, and uh, the year's almost up. You worried about Mr. Slade? Play your guitar, King. Yes, Miss Taylor. Trying to do just that. Yeah, grab an arm. Okay. Thanks. You were lying there for what reason, mister? You betting you'll get an answer because you're holding a gun? Bingo. Well, I got heaved down those steps. You're Paul Brewer, aren't you? I've been looking for you. A cop, uh, Say your last one, cop, or you're going out. Save the corner of the mouth talk for when you meet a real cop. Me, it don't impress. All right, no cop, then who are you? Slate Shannon. Guy your father hired to meet you at Puente Docks. Guy who was supposed to bring you to your father. That could be, too. Let's find out, huh? Upstairs. Somebody else was there. I thought he was you. Your father said he wasn't, which delighted this somebody. He heaved... Yeah, yeah. Come on, move. This is your good day for finding people on stairways, Paul. Turn them over. Go ahead. Well, you know him? Yeah. You? I just told you about him. You didn't shoot him, huh? I met him at Puente Docks, I told you. I brought him here because... Yeah, you said that. Take off, Shannon. Get out of here. Sure. The cops are going to find you, Paul. After a while, they will. After a while, I want them to. Things have got to be done first. Killing? I said, get out, Shannon. I don't want to start with you. <laughs> No good to me, Millie. I'll tell you why you're no good to me. You killed the wrong man. That leaves Paul Brewer loose to kill me. Maybe that's how you wanted it, huh? Maybe that's why you didn't take a good look before you got kill happy. I'll explain it to you once more, honey. Because you got stale soda pop where blood ought to be. The guy was with Shannon. For me, that made him Paul. Because you asked me once for help when things were better between us, I killed what I thought was Paul. So I made a mistake. Yeah. So go hide under a bed, honey. Oh, how do I get through to you? Brewer's out to kill me. Oh, look, Millie. You gotta find him, kill him. You can pin it on Shannon. Oh, come on, for me, Millie. For the many days I've been good to you. Take your hands off me, scum, honey. Take them off. Millie? Millie. Millie, you'll kill me. Couldn't happen to a man with more character. I'll watch the papers, Bart. Oh, no, look. I'll need to know when to buy a black dress. Bart? Yeah. Bart, what do you think you're going to do, honey? It won't take long, Millie. Not long! Not Going someplace? Why the hat? They tell me it's a thing you need when you're on the lam. You know, drafty hideouts. Scurrying down cold, dark alleys. Hiding in the river while the cops search for you. A lady's hat will come in handy. Hey, what are you talking about? You're a fugitive, ain't you, gorilla? I'm your mall, ain't I? Where a gorilla goes, his mall goes with. It's the etiquette. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the hat? <laughs> Take it off, sailor. You don't need it where we're going. You've got a warm hideout, huh, fugitive? Yeah, LaSalle's office. And the lumps you got went to your head, didn't they, kid? LaSalle wants you for accessory to an escape. Also, the murder of a man in the barrio. Well, if he wants me that bad, let's let him have me, huh? Slate, you don't have to give yourself up. I'll go wherever you want. I... LaSalle first. Then we go where I want. Huh, baby? <laughs> wise to give yourself up to me, Senor Shannon. You think so, LaSalle? I don't think so. 
In 20 years, Slate won't think so either. <laughs> 20 years, if he lives that long. You still think I murdered that man in the barrio, LaSalle? The man was dead when I found him. I didn't do it. Let us concede the point. Which leaves the matter of aiding and abetting the escape of Paul Brewer from Guantanamo prison. For this, we are very furious, we of the Brotherhood of the Police. Oh, so I made a mistake. Brewer's out to kill a man. Maybe I could stop that. Give Brewer back to you. What would that buy me? A pat on your dimpled cheek and a turning of the back. Perhaps, if I feel whimsical again. Who does Brewer want to kill? You ought to know. That's your style in the Brotherhood, isn't it? To know who wants who dead. See, si, we amuse ourselves with it. I have been studying the file on Brewer. In court, he screamed it was a man but trainer who had killed, and not Brewer. That it was a upframe. Trainer? You got an address on him? The Las Flores Apartment Hotel was the last place he... Now, let's go, sailor. Let's go talk to a man about an upframe. <laughs> Come inside. What do you want to do, sailor? You've had me out long enough today. Let's go inside. Well, then after you. Hey, what is it? You. Close the door, sailor. Thanks. Slate, why'd you hit the man? Yeah. Why'd you hit me? Uh, you were impolite to sailor. What's a fist in the stomach to a bullet? I always say. What do you people want? What are you talking about? A bullet in the stomach. Rumor has it that's what Paul Brewer is going to give you. Brewer sent you, huh? You Brewer's muscle? You... Hey, hey, where you going? Does it bother you? Hey, don't go in there. It bothers you, huh? Oh. I don't blame you for being bothered, Bart. Oh, look, she was here when I got home. I don't even know who she is. I found her like that. I know who she is. A girl named Millie. She told me she wanted Paul. Who'd she want him for? You? That girl on the dock, Slate? Yeah. Dead. Yeah, she's dead, isn't she, Bart? Strangled. Oh, uh, look. Why don't you forget it? I'd get rid of her. Nobody even see me. Go back to Paul. Tell him you couldn't find me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You name it. You'll see. I can pay you. You haven't got that kind of dough, Bart. Eh? Try me. Try. Why don't you just try? You can name anything you want. Mind if I come in? Come on in, Paul. Everybody's expecting you. You look good, Bart. Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, how you feeling, Paul? Good, good. I'm glad. Uh, why don't you sit down? Uh, I'll get you something. Uh-uh. Paul, you ought to give yourself up to the police. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. Just want to talk over old times with Bart. You want to talk over old times, Bart? Sure, sure, kid. There was once a day when you killed a man, Bart, and I went to jail for it. Let's talk about that. I'll come back to the cops with me, Paul. You can clear yourself. Take Bart with us. He'll help us. Sure. And Bart will explain about killing Millie. Won't you, Bart? Sure. Sure I will. Let me out of here. Let me go. Oh! And don't tell me I didn't have to do it, Shannon. Guy's got to answer that question for himself. Only maybe he'll die for it, Paul. Yeah, maybe I will. Shannon? Let me have that gun. You'll explain to the old man, won't you? The best way I know how. Here's a gun. Let's go to the cops, huh? <laughs> You happy? Not happy. I'm lying on the beach getting sunburned. They stop leaning over me. You make a shadow. Want to go in for a dip? Dip? In the ocean? You out of your mind? Dip is for tourists. Tired, huh? You tired, Slate? I'm talking to you. You're making a shadow. Okay. I'm going for a walk. Hey, come back here. What do you want? Come here. 
All right. I'm making a shadow. You like it? You won't get any sun in your face like this. You don't care, huh? Ouch! What's the matter? Take off your sunglasses, sailor. Now, come here. And so, our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring... Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture.